All right, so to start off uh, this series of videos on heat diffusion, um, we're gonna first look at the uh, um, uniaxial um, time, time dependent uh, heat diffusion equation um, without heat generation. Um, and so we're basically gonna prove, I'm gonna prove this, uh, that this is the solution um, to that equation. Um, so first, um, things to note here is that our T is temperature. Um, sorry, this is supposed to be a lowercase. Um, we have our E to the negative alpha, which is in this case the heat diff diffusivity constant. Um, K, which is just any integer. Um, T, which is temperature, and then um, we have E to the I, which is imaginary. Uh, again, a, um, any integer, and then X, which is position. Um, and the position will basically be along any object, um, an axis basically, where we are, um, where the heat will be diffused through. Um, all right, so, um, good to note here is uh, Euler's or Euler's um, equation, which is basically E to the I X um, is equal to cosine of X plus sine of X. And um, that's where he, we basically get this from, obviously including a, um, that constant or an integer um, that which is uh, problem dependent um, but he gets this also from the Taylor series of both e to the x which is it, ba it basically proves that uh, the Taylor series of e to the x um, is equal to these two added so the Taylor series of e to the x is 1 plus um, x squared over 2 radical plus x cubed over 3 radical and it continues like that. Let's do x4 um, over 4 radical um, and basically the Taylor series of cosine x is equal to the odd ones. So the Taylor series of cosine x goes basically x squared over 2 radical x4 over 4 radical, x6 over 6 radical, um, and so on. And then the sine, Taylor series of sine x basically encompasses all the odd uh, numbers in the Taylor series. So uh, that's just kind of how this formula was kind of uh, derived um, originally. We can also look at the derivative uh, with respect to temperature, T uh, is equal to, uh, sorry, sigma, and then uh, the respect, the second derivative, with respect to temperature, and derivative of x squared, position squared. And then uh, from this, if we want to plug in our T, um, for these values of t down here, so this one and this one, we can put plug in uh, t. This will actually work out quite nicely um, to show that our uh, our formula up here is the solution to the heat diff diffusivity. So if we plug these in, I'm going to just kind of jump and then explain um, after I'm done. So. T max times E to the IKX. And that is equal to, uh, sorry again if I'm getting in your way. Uh, again, our alpha is the heat diffusivity constant, which is. Um, 
that's why we bring it down uh, because it is a constant and then it's going to be the same uh, end over here sorry uh, this brings down times i squared k squared and e to the i k x um, and so we can do one thing that's pretty easy to get rid of is the i squared um, which basically turns into a negative one and then um, all we have to do there is basically um, just rewrite Or our alpha k squared e negative alpha k squared t e to the i k x and then if you notice we have our k squared and our negative one and we can move that to the front um, so we get negative alpha k squared e and you might be noticing that um, Essentially, we have the same thing on both sides. So k squared t and then e to the i kx. So essentially, we end up with um, the same thing on both sides of the equation, which kind of proves, again, that this is going to be our equation um, moving forward for the uh, uniaxial heat diffusivity, um, dependent on time, um, without any external heat generation.